want to bring in former Arkansas governor, Fox News contributor Mike Huckabee. Governor, help me out here. Uh, Nancy Pelosi spoke just moments ago. She said the Democrats have taken swift action. She harped, uh, she harped on the, uh, the test, of course, alluding to the fact that's been a big problem and saying that we should help the little children and food insecurity. You know, she also tried to sneak in an abortion funding in her earlier attempt at this whole process, which was not only ridiculous and absurd, it was insulting uh, to the people who actually might have coronavirus. But here's the best thing Congress could do is block grant money to the states and let them distribute it according to where the needs are in their states. There's no way Nancy Pelosi knows what the needs are in all 50 states. The reason that we have the concept of federalism in the 10th Amendment is so that the best decisions of government can be made closest to the people who are going to be affected by them. And that's why we have states. The best thing Nancy Pelosi could do is quit trying to micromanage as if she knows what every state needs, block grant the money according to populations and according to the number of people with coronavirus in those states, and let those governors and county officials and mayors decide how much of it needs to go to the children, and there's some of it that most certainly does, how much needs to go to uh, infrastructure of the health department right. and testing. Right. They're in a position to know. She's not. That's what should be done. Well, Governor, it felt like this started off as a, the traditional uh, free-for-all in Washington, D.C., uh, and all the goodies lined up on one side, uh, uh -huh. the things you're going to sneak in also put in there as well. The clock was ticking. There was even talk of going on recess. I mean, it, it, do you get the sense they understand the urgency factor here at this point really should supersede all of those things? And what happened to, to the Democrats that believed in, in, in a payroll tax cut when President Obama was around? Yeah, the payroll tax cut was a great idea when he proposed it. Suddenly, when President Trump proposed it, it's a terrible idea. People are not stupid. They can see through that, and they recognize that some of the things that they're saying no to, they're saying no not because they reject the idea, but they reject the person but who's giving them the idea. But do we have time for those games anymore? I mean, if this is no. a traditional thing. No, we thing, don't. Yeah. I mean, I know that we don't we have don't. time for it because they would have came up with a, a fancy name for the uh, bill instead of family first. Corona. I'm putting those letters together, and it doesn't form a word, you know? <laughs> let me let me just <laughs> let me ask you about this other thing because you have talked about this. Uh, GOP lawmakers have been called racist for calling the illness uh, the Chinese coronavirus or the Wuhan co co coronavirus. I mean, listen, this is where the pandemic started. So, why do you think the media and, and Democrats are calling Republicans racist over, over this? They got nothing else. Charles, when you're reduced to not having an argument, you just throw the word racist into the discussion, and that's supposed to end it, and it's supposed to bring shame uh, to the Republicans. But that's as stupid as saying that uh, French fries is racist toward the French, or that Italian bread somehow is an insult to the people of Italy. This is nonsense. The reason it's called the Wuhan virus is because that's where it started. Uh, it has no racist connotations whatsoever. Yeah. It just has to do with describing it and giving attribution to where it came from, for heaven's sake. We know exactly where it started, the Wuhan seafood market, and then we know exactly why it started. Governor, thank you very much. Yeah. Appreciate it. You bet, Charles. See you